ignition sequence start. Three, two, one. Lock and load. It's time for the gun rack with your hosts, Joey and Drew. Hello and welcome to the Gun Rack's Nord Desert Institute School of Firearms Technology's official podcast. I'm Josiah Upper. Folks call me Joey, and today we have one Drew Poplin. Drew Poplin. We frequently do these days. And uh you know, I keep saying that, like, I'm not the one that's technically on the outside. In, <laughs> right. <laughs> but, you know, Drew's the full-time worker here and I'm just a boy, you know, just here on the outside, staring in, having a good time. But we ha- actually have a pretty exciting episode for you guys. I'm excited to share it with you. This week, we're going to talk about that perfect Christmas gift or those stocking stuffers, maybe for yourself, even. Um, and we're going to talk about stocking stuffers for firearms lovers. Uh, we t- did this last year and we talked about Black Friday deals. Uh, we missed that for, we talked about that uh, two episodes ago now. But we still have some really cool options that are out there for you guys uh, if you're interested in giving that perfect gift for your firearms lover out there. And uh, Drew and I both have some options for you guys. We're excited to share them with you. Uh, before we do that, though, we have some clues because Drew Poplin is always on the clues. Drew's clues. What do we got? Yes, sir. So last week, the firearm I was talking about, the firearm that appears in Death Wish 3, it is the Will D. I suspect a lot of you out there probably knew that one. But let's we'll see if you I, know this I one. I did not. Oh, Please. this one's a great one. Yes. This firearm, designed in 1873, was the first standard-issue breech-loading rifle adopted by the United States Army. This model was the fifth variation and was named for its hinged breech block. Breech block? Breech block! Fifth variation. Uh, Hinged breech block. Ladies and gentlemen, you have your orders. No looking it up. Not a single look up, but... If you think you know the answer, send in a message to marketing at sdi.edu, put the gun rack or the gun rack trivia in your subject line so we know where you're headed, or feel free to comment on our YouTube audiogram of this. Uh, We monitor that as well. Hop on there, and the first person we get, we will send some swag to. Nice, nice. Real quick, we're going to talk about some SDI. We are going to talk about SDI. What's SDI, Drew? So SDI is an online school based out of Tempe, Arizona, and we specialize in firearms technology and unmanned slash uncrew technology. So stuff like drones and everything, which is pretty cool. Uh, you like a school that has a little variety to itself. Oh, now, a little verve, Drew. Oh, it's got a little, a little verve. Oh, a little verve. Yeah, dude. And I know what you're saying. Well, this is a official SDI podcast. Why should I believe that what Joey and Drew are saying are not SDI official opinions? Well, one, because we've practically made a catchphrase out of it at this point. And two, if you don't believe us, you should check out what some of our former students and graduates have said. Hell yeah, you should. Do it. And the best place for that is going to be SDI.com edu slash news and once you get there click on the tab that says grad features and there you can hear from some of our graduates you know just about their experience here at sdi how sdi helps them further advance their careers and you know in some cases even make their dreams come true which is always cool to be a part of again that's www.sdi edu slash news click on grad features and you will be set now joey we are about a week week and a half out from christmas day oh my gosh you're right what's your favorite part of christmas uh, my favorite part of christmas is it's got to be early christmas morning my parents uh, my mom really liked it that we did we opened our stockings exceptionally early, like four mm-hmm. or five in the morning early. And everybody is like, oh, my parents do the best. 
stocking ever. That's incorrect. Our stockings were just ridiculous. They were unhinged and continue to be. She still does this when we're in town um, and they just moved back. So we get to keep that going. They are, there was at one point in time, so much going on with the stocking that what we got outside of the stocking was nothing-ish. And uh, we would go and we'd unwrap those as soon as we woke up. And then uh, we would sit there and drink something she called Russian tea, which is basically tang and a tiny bit of sweet tea and a couple of other things. It's vaguely orange flavored. It's, it's, it's so bad for you, but it's incredible. Um, Christmas morning does it for me every time. Now that sounds nice. Don't be surprised if me and my wife drop by randomly. Yeah. Just for yes. That. Oh, yeah. What about you? I think for me, well, it's a little different now because Christmas for me used to be very melancholic because I was a sad little emo boy. Yeah. All the small things. Yeah. And so, like, my favorite thing used to be having sitting on a big comfy couch or just staring into the Christmas tree drinking a mocha of sorts like a little and then just feeling the weight of melancholy upon my shoulders but now that i'm uh happy uh i don't know um i'd probably say one it's always lovely to see you know my family and everything but we do have a nice breakfast for lunch or breakfast for dinner meal always good uh, so, you know, bacon, pancakes, eggs, all, you know, all the stuff, country ham, gravy. Um, and so that's something I've always enjoyed. And if I can be honest, I, I like presents. I like giving the gifts. I like seeing, you know, people, you know, like a gift that you give them. And I like getting gifts too. Heck yeah. And that's what this episode's all about. Yeah, dude. Forget this is the about spirit gifts, of baby. Christmas and charity and kindness and the spirit and of the getting season. stuff. Give me it's that stuff. It's about getting stuff. Give me that stuff. I've seen The Grinch, but only the first half where it's about getting stuff. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. No, but seriously, we're going to talk about some really cool things at different price points for you guys. Uh, if you're interested in giving them as gifts to friends and family, I've got some kind of low ball options, and I think Drew's got some fancier things for the sophisticated out there. Drew, you want to talk about that? These come from, sorry, the background, you just heard me drop my phone. Um, you want to talk about some of these, uh, these Palmetto State Armory options? Yes, sir. So, you know, our friends at PSA, they do a good job taking care of us. You know, they're always good with some nice deals and stuff pretty much any time of year but they've actually changed their website logo slightly to no way yeah they got like a uh, little santa hat and a candy cane and what Love looks it. to be a present change the colors up a little bit so that's nice that's festive and so while these couldn't really be called stocking stuffers i don't know how big your stockings are maybe one of them would fit in there but while they're not stocking stuffers there are some cool gifts that I just kind of want to make y'all aware about. Heck yeah. So the first one I want to talk about is the Blim PSA K47 GF3 Forged Classic Polymer Rifle. Now, normally this bad boy goes for about 850 bucks, But this Christmas, you can get yourself an AK for $600. That ain't bad. Not bad, people. Next up from PSA, we have uh, Joey's favorite firearms brand in the world, Glock. Uh. Um, PSA is selling the Glock 19 Generation 5, uh, which I believe is their newest model that they've put out. They are selling it where it was previously $650. You can get it now for $539. Wow. Um, so, you know, also another pretty decent deal. Not the biggest, you know, markdown percentage wise, but hey, you know, get yeah. yourself get yourself a Glock for under 550 bucks. You're in good shape. Savings are savings, dude. Yes, sir. And then the last one I wanted to talk about was from one of Joey's favorite firearms manufacturers, IWI. Ah. They are selling their Tavor TS12 
semi-automatic bullpup 12 gauge shotgun oh this thing is ridiculousness i love it so much yes uh so where before it was one thousand six hundred dollars it is now one thousand two hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents that's pretty significant actually. yeah yeah like 300 bucks right there that's uh, no joke so uh yeah i just want to make you aware of a couple of stuff from psa you know Always try to help her boys out. Yeah, man. Um, and they got some good deals. So check them out at palmettostatearmory.com. Yeah, yeah, really good deals there. And of course, if you're ever talking about gifts and firearms, you want to make sure that you are following all of your state and local laws, just so we put that disclaimer on. Okay. Now he's got Drew's hit kind of the, the fancy end, and I've got the cheap end of our gift suggestion. So we got Palmetto State Armory. I've got three other options for you guys that I think you might find interesting. One is give the gift of ammo. Uh, yeah. I know it goes away quickly, but uh, it's, it is every time I've gotten it as a gift, I have used it. And the same cannot be said of many other gifts I've received. And you all know what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's hard to buy ammo for someone and you just want to get them a nice chunk of ammunition. They'll be happy for it. And uh, so will you. So uh, my favorite, personal favorite, should probably contact them and ask them to pay me to say this, but my favorite ammunition store by far is Outdoor Limited. Uh, they're based in North Carolina, and they have the best prices I see on a regular basis for decent ammo. Sterling Steel Case right now, uh, if you want to get a 50-pack, uh, it's eleven forty nine. That's 23 cents a round. Uh, they've got a lot of it in stock. If you want to stick around with a uh, brass case, you can go with a um, Precision 1, 9mm, uh, Blue Bullets, uh, they're 26 around, or Sterling's regular ammo, their brass stuff, uh, is 26 around as well. Although the minimum I'm seeing there in terms of quantity is, oh no, you can get it in 50s too. Uh, it's worth noting that if you want to get 500 rounds, it's 109.99. so you knock off a penny around. It's pretty solid. That's 500 rounds, by the way. Not, uh, I think I said 100 rounds. 500 rounds, 109.99, 22 cents per round. There we go. All righty. Remington 223 with a rebate right now. You can get Winchester 223, 55 grain full metal jacket, 500 round pack for 237.99. After the rebate, it's 189.99, which is 38 cents a round. You can also get Arms Corps 223 uh, ammunition, 62 grain FMJ, 500 rounds. 189.99, 38 cents a round, no rebate involved. You can do a thousand rounds of Wolf 223, 55 grain full metal jacket, 38 cents a round, 379.99. The list goes on, but that price point is pretty solid, guys. And that nine millimeter price point is really good, as I'm sure you guys know. If you want to go even cheaper than that, I've got three options for you. One, Magazine speed loaders designed specifically for each selected magazine. These are from MakerShot. And this is one, they've got almost 40,000 reviews on Amazon. It's almost completely five stars. They make them for a lot. I mean, a preposterous amount of firearms. I picked up one for my E365 XL and it does work. It's the uh, first one I've ever gotten. I thought they were for lazy people at first and now I have one. and it's better. <laughs> it's a lot better. And uh, especially the P365XL has a reputation for having very difficult to load magazines because of the how compact they are. And this helps with that uh, quite a bit. I still even had to wrestle it a little bit, but the speed loader is really good. And the 365XL one is $13.99. Uh, I'm going to scroll up and pick one at random here. The 2075 Ramy, same price. And let's go with a 1911, same price, $13.99. I'm seeing it. I'm sure there's some in here hiding that are going to be different prices, but I am not seeing any as I'm just casually flipping through here. They're really cool. And there's enough of them that I have to pick. There has to be at least 100 that I'm looking at right now, uh, models out there. If you're in a place where you want to check this out, uh, strongly, strongly recommend mine, and uh, I will be, I'll probably be writing about it at some point, whether for SDI or one of my other uh, clients, and 
yeah, it's really good. Good stuff. Okay, so that's one option, $13.99. Other one I want to make you guys aware of is a magazine. Give the gift of a magazine. They can be expensive, inexpensive, depends on the gun, as I'm sure you guys know. But I'm going to look at uh, PMAGs right now, or AR-15 magazines. And the right now I'm looking at gunmagwarehouse.com. It's always worth a look if you've never checked it out before. You can get a Magpul PMAG Gen 2 MOE AR-15 30 round magazine for 10 bucks. Ooh. Yeah, dude. You can get a Gen M3 for 13 bucks. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. You can also get a Hex Mag Series 2 AR-15 223506 30 round polymer magazine for 850. So there are options and there's really cheap ones. Um, I see an ETS Gen 2 AR-15 799, I think is the cheapest one I'm seeing out of everything. But still, options, options, options. If you have to roll with a 10 round mag due to restrictions, they have those as well uh, for less than 15 bucks. Really cool option for you guys. Uh, last one, and I mentioned this last year as well. The gift of subscriptions is pretty cool. Guns and ammo. You can get 12 issues of guns and ammo uh, to a USA uh, resident for $10. You can give this subscription. That's insanely cheap. And uh, that is what I would strongly recommend. It's a gift that someone will actually use, like ammo. Extremely inexpensive, uh, especially relative to what you're getting, right? Uh, 10 bucks for 12 magazines of something people are actually going to read. Super worth it, I think. Those are my recommendations for stocking steppers for firearms lovers for this year, 2022. Awesome. Thank you very much, Joey. Absolutely. You want to get to some Tales from the Range? Let's do it. So, uh, heads up, this one is more anxiety-inducing than it is funny. Fun. Uh, as has been the trend lately. This is from Reddit, and this is user Toss Special. I hate using the term, but situational awareness. It's a must-have for sure at the public ranges. The one I frequent most has some pretty on-the-spot range masters, I have a friend who constantly complains about how strict they are, but it's better than eating a bullet. My worst experience was watching a pretty large dude firing a little tiny 380, and his meat hooks barely fit onto the gun. He was shooting with one hand over the other with a free-floating left-hand pointer finger. And so almost every time he fired his finger... Almost every time he fired, his finger jumped over the front of the muzzle. Oh. I thought for sure I was going to watch a finger fly downrange. Yikes. Uh, now, I feel like maybe you probably should have said something earlier. I don't want to judge UTAW special, but, you know, maybe, you know, you, you never want to be the guy at the range that's giving unsolicited advice. But when it is maybe a matter speak up on this one. Yeah, I'll give you a pass for this one. Yeah. Um, and Joey, this one is for you. It's not a tell from the range. It's yet another stocking stuffer that I want to make you aware of. Okay. And this comes to us from, I want to say our friends, but at this point, they're more like brothers, I feel like. And I'm, of course, talking about Zip Fizz. Zip Fizz! Now... If you want to get onto the Zip Fizz experience, you can try all 14 flavors of Zip Fizz for just $14.99. Yeah, dude. $14.99. And that includes black cherry, blueberry, raspberry, grape, berry, fruit punch, orange soda, citrus, pink lemonade, orange cream, lemon iced tea, pink grapefruit, lime on, which I think Pimo. is lime and lemon. It's uh, really good. This is the best one. Really? Yes. Peach mango and pina colada. And you can try all of those for 15 bucks. That's pretty awesome. And once you get your Zip Fizz, if you're struggling to open your Zip Fizz container for whatever reason, Joey, is that a problem you've ever had? Not once in my life. I'm interested to see where this goes. Well, you know what? Just in case they have in their swag, 
Zip Fizz opener for 99 cents. It's a keychain opener. Well, I'm pretty sure it's literally just a bottle opener. They're Uh, not even bottles. No. (laughs) They're little tubes. (laughs) So they have the opener, and once you get that opened, and you want to shape your Zip Fizz up, but want to do it in the most optimized manner, Zip Fizz has got you covered. They have their own shaker bottle for 12 bucks. Utterly baffling. So, and you know, those actually could fit into a stocking. So I feel satisfied and actually somewhat understanding the assignment. Zip Fizz are so dope, dude. That's so I, good. I got to be honest, I still haven't tried it yet. Ugh, makes me sad. But for now, folks. That is the gun rack. We talked about grand features a little bit earlier, but I do want to plug SDI just one more time. Uh, SDI.edu, School of Firearms Technology, School of Unmanned Technology. Come check us out. Uh, We would love to have you be a part of the SDI family. Feel free to hop onto our website. Uh, We have awesome people that you can talk to on the admissions team, and uh, we would love to hear from you. For now, folks, that is the gun rack. Have fun out there. We will see you at the ring. Sonoran Desert Institute is an online school accredited by the DEAC. It is headquartered at 1555 West University Drive in Tempe, Arizona. For more information about how you can craft your firearms future, visit sdi.edu.